the airport Hilton Hotel, it's the Jerry Lewis Telethon. With your host, John Cranker, Marty Gritchie, and Mike Nixon. Okay, welcome back here to the Hilton. Keep those phones ringing. We don't mind talking over ring a ling 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 because that's beautiful music to the kids out there that are really counting on you to help us. For years, I've been telling people, and as the last three as the Ontario Firefighters Chairman going around, I've been telling people that their money is desperately needed for research. And this old boy hasn't been lying to them. Mike, the money has been well used. Without question, John. In fact, in the past year or so, the Muscular Dystrophy Association here in Canada has really had three very major important messages over the course of the last year in the areas of research, particularly right here in Toronto where the uh, research team headed by Dr. Ron Wharton has not only mapped the gene, but is now close to, and in fact, has isolated the protein responsible for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So certainly we are making steps in the right directions, and it's the people who are making the pledges in this show that are making those steps for us. That's right. We have the talent here in Canada. All we need is the money now to make it work. Well, in fact, this is one way to do it, uh, get involved with events through the year like the telephone and make the pledge on the phone. Here's another way to do it. Let's take a look at this message. Put your pledge to work right away. By using Visa or MasterCard, MDAC can immediately direct your gift into its research and services programs. And here we are with the Tri-County Chapter Team Group, and that's representing the Guelph, Cambridge, and Waterloo areas. Uh, on my left, I have Mark Bardwell. Uh, beside Mark is Tino Wardell, Denise McCoy, and Shelby Jarvis. And Mark, uh, tell us what you guys have been doing. Um, this year we had a dance thon in March, and we also had a model display, and we also had cancer for the city of Cambridge. And Tina would like to give you a check of how much we made this year. Tina, what do you got there for us? It's a check for $1,535 that we raised over the year. That's fantastic. $1,500 from the uh, Tri-County Chapter Team Group. Thanks very much. Now let's go back to John. Well, Marty, as you can see, the kids aren't afraid to get out and help kids. I've said that for so many years, you're probably tired of hearing me listen to say it. But it is. It's people helping people. That's the only way it's going to go. You've seen Kim this morning in her wheelchair. Instead of sitting home moping about her problems, she was out raising money for MD. And here's some guys that I'm proud to be on the same stage with. Two gentlemen from the Barry Fire Department, Bob McIntyre and Wayne Nelson. Good day. Uh, Good day, eh? Here we are. Um, on behalf of the Barry Firefighters, we would like to present Muscular Dystrophy Association of Canada, a check for $17,500. 17000 Come on. And how did you raise that? Uh, toll booths in the Barry area and uh, with the help of our association. See, that's what it takes, community involvement. So many years, the firefighters have been the biggest sponsors of muscular dystrophy, but it's the community, it's the, our own families out there backing us. So please, you get up, make a phone call, and make it work. Now let's go to Mike, the big guy. Thanks very much, John. I'm here with a group of a remarkable young people who's headed up, and their spokesman as nominated just earlier is Paul Carpenter. Paul, welcome. Hello. Paul, we've got a, a few of your friends here, and you've been putting on an event through the course of the year. Maybe we can, we're in front of you, everybody, so maybe you can hold up your hands as Paul's introducing you. Okay, there's Aaron, Julie, Ian, Barry, uh, Paul, Ryan, Fraser, French, and Danny. All right. Now, in the past month or so, you've, uh, the, the bunch of you over a few days have been putting together a little special event here in town. Maybe you could tell me what's happened. Okay, we sold hamburgers, hot dogs, tacos, pops, and chips, and through donations, we raised a lot of money. And that money, now you told me earlier, let's, let's take the surprise. How much is it up now, Paul? $1,560. Outstanding. Way to go, folks. And that's really what it's all about. It's the kids that are out there. It's the special events happening this weekend that have happened over the course of the summer. It's you that's making it happen. Fellas, ladies, thank you very much. Let's go over to another hot dog. Marty Goodkey? Uh, yeah, I think, thanks, Mike. Uh... I have a regional report from the Chatham area. I was talking to Louise Ross there, and Louise has been uh, running a pledge center for eight years in that area. 
and uh, business is picking up. They've received $1,000 an hour for the last two hours. Let's keep that good work up, Chatham. Cable TV is uh, helping them out in that area, as well as uh, Carol, the cleaning lady, is cleaning up for them. Um, a young, a special young friend, Paul McDougal from uh, Mississauga, was supposed to be here to help me out with this presentation at this time. He couldn't be. I'd just like to say hello, Paul. We're thinking about you here. And while I have a moment, I've had a couple of checks handed to me on the way in. One from the uh, Fire Chief Gord Bentley, $100. An $86 check from the uh, Buffalo uh, Golf Tournament firefighters that went there. Thanks very much, and uh, now to John. Thanks, Marty. And it's my pleasure to uh, have Jeff Bodon, training manager, with us, and another one of these real exciting visits from Max Convenience Store. Thank you, John. And uh, we're happy again this year to be part of the Muscular Dystrophy uh, Canada Telethon, and through the the uh, efforts of our dealers, suppliers, uh, and our customers, the generosity of our customers, we uh, have been actively collecting for MDA. And it's my pleasure at this time to present you with a further check for $25,000, which brings our total so far to $50,000, and there's more to come. $50,000, hey, you can come anytime, sir. thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, $50,000, I'm shook up. I'm sorry. i never seen anything bigger than 100. Marty, you little hot dogger, you. Take it. Thanks, John. Back over here at the VIP phones, and I'd like to take the opportunity to uh, welcome some folks that have come down here to help us out today. First of all, we have Ron Lambert, a firefighter from the Barry Fire Department. Thanks, Ron, for being here. Jack Bowler from the Moose Lodge. We have uh, Sean Gaffney from the Mississauga Fire Department. Inspector Tom Hughes from the Peel Regional Police, and Jim Marshall, an on-air personality from CFGM Radio in Richmond Hill. Thanks for being with us, Jim. And uh, our president of our association in Mississauga, Mr. Larry McPhail. Thank you all for being with us today. And uh, John, what have you got for us there? I have the distinct pleasure again of uh, talking to two great young people. And they say the world's in a rough shape. If we have young people like we've seen on this telethon, our land's going to be in good hands in the coming year. I have uh, Christine Smith and Kirsten Leroy from Aurora. And what did you girls do for us? We did a backyard carnival. A backyard carnival. And did you raise any money? Yes, we raised $221 this year. Don't be ashamed to tell me that. $221. Now, come on. Some of you people at home can't get up and phone in five bucks and they raise $221. And on behalf of all the MD kids, we greatly appreciate it and we thank you and all the people that helped you. Thanks, thanks to them. Mike. Thank you, John. I'm here with Jim Snyder from the Vaughn Fire Department. We were just very, trying to figure out which is our best side. And I, I don't know if we've got one, Jim, but here's a, a good side of the, the story of the association and that's the continued and growing involvement of the firefighter support with the muscular dystrophy association and right here in Vaughan. that's right this year we had a fill the boot campaign at uh, the promenade shopping mall and on the past friday and saturday and i'd like to present you with a check in the amount of three thousand one hundred eight dollars outstanding now jim you mentioned this is your second year involved with uh, muscular dystrophy fundraising and what an incredible growth. I think you mentioned $500 last year, up to $3,100. It's the firefighters making things happen. Jim, I think it's safe to say that uh, it's really the people who are out at the promenade who are shopping that are really the ones who are making it happen successfully for yourself. And uh, certainly the association's uh, continuing to appreciate uh, the involvement that Vaughn and the fire services have had on our behalf. We appreciate it. Thanks very much, Jim. Marty? Thanks, Mike. Got a couple of special friends with me here. Uh, Paul Langlois, Cochrane firefighter, and Doug McEwen from the Mississauga Fire Department. Paul, uh, you've been involved as an advisor for muscular dystrophy up there, and uh, we have firefighter advisors who uh, take on regions of the province and uh, help us develop new departments. And I understand you've had some success up there as well. I have, Marty. Um, I was uh, appointed as a firefighter advisor in April, and I toured the north, uh, northeastern Ontario area. And uh, we've got three other departments on stream this year and uh, that have raised money for Muscular Dystrophy Association. 
Which, which departments are those? We have Smooth Rock Falls, Moosonee, and we had Iroquois Falls come on board this year. Well, welcome to those fellows. It's good to have them on board. And how about Cochrane? Cochrane did well this year. We had a variety of items uh, that we held, uh, including golf tournaments. We had a 36-hour Euchreton uh, nonstop. Uh, we had um, <coughs> tobos, um, you know, skidoo well, draws, everything. You've done an excellent job up there. We compliment you, Paul. And Doug, uh, Doug McEwen was the uh, representative representing the 13th District of the International Association of Firefighters in Las Vegas last year. Doug, uh, maybe you can tell us about that a little bit. I'd love to, Marty. Uh, it gave me a great honor to be selected to uh, represent the uh, Canadian firefighters from the eastern provinces. Uh, my stay in Vegas was extremely enjoyable. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to exchange ideas with our United States counterparts. I had an opportunity to meet uh, doctors, physicians, and scientists that uh, deal directly with the research of muscular dystrophy. It also gave me a, an opportunity to, uh, to meet with the past president of the uh, International Association of Firefighters, Jack Gannon, and uh, our new president, uh, Al Whitehead, and, and to take an over, overview look at, at what firefighters in North America are accomplishing to, uh, to raise money for this uh, worthwhile cause. That's all right, and a lot of good no news on that re research uh, level, too, with the scientists and doctors. Uh, seems every day there's some good news coming out of that. I understand that Mississauga's uh, magic show is rolling around, and that's your major source of funds. It certainly is. Uh, we have uh, what we call the Mississauga Association uh, Firefighters Benevolent Fund, of which uh, Marty chairs. Uh, we have uh, four trustees, uh, myself, Larry McPhail, uh, Terry Finnegan, and uh, Elliot Hastings. Uh, the sole purpose of uh, our fundraisings is to uh, to assist those less fortunate than ourselves. And uh, I would just like to thank the uh, community of Mississauga for their total support of their firefighters in this cause. Well, in turn, uh, on behalf of Muscular Dystrophy, we want to thank both of you fellows for the work that you've been doing for us, too. And now back to John, another firefighter does a lot of work for Muscular Dystrophy. Thanks, Marty. And it's my great pleasure to uh, have with me two representatives from United Italian Culture Club. And uh, you boys and girls in the audience here at the Hilton, you've got about two minutes to get down to Misty's. There's a super kid show starting down below in Misty's. You won't want to miss it because everything that we do here today is for muscular dystrophy. And back to the good stuff here, Leo and Dominic. John, on behalf of the United Italians Cultural Club, I'd like to present uh, the Muscular Dystrophy Association of Canada with a, with a check for $3,000. And I'd like to issue a challenge to all the other... $3,000, come on. This is for muscular dystrophy, not for the hearing impaired. Come on. And I'd like to issue a challenge to all the other social and cultural clubs in Toronto, which there are quite a few, to better this amount. We'd like to be the uh, bottom of the totem pole. Well, that's great stuff. Yes, John, I'd like to take this opportunity to present you with my own personal pledge of $25. And I'd like to issue a challenge to all my fellow TTC employees to match or beat my, my pledge. TTC guys, come on, match this pledge. Exact fares, 50 bucks, that's it, exact fares. Now, Mike, take it away. Thanks, John. I'm stand, standing over here with a group of people who are really making the, uh, the phones happen here. They're taking the pledges. We've got them halfway filled up here. We've got a number more that aren't busy at this particular time. Phone in your pledge. These people have been here for a number of hours, right, folks? And you're waiting for those phones to ring. Call those pledges in. I just got off the phone with Lauren Murphy up in Timmins, who is himself putting together the Timmins Pledge Center. He's having great success. He wants us to uh, pass on to you that there's still a few phones open to keep calling in. Keep him busy. The one message that Lauren has that he wants to pass along is that those people who are at the cottage that are watching the show Now's your opportunity to phone as well. Marty? Thanks, Mike. And uh, some more friends here from the Newmarket Fire Department. I have Rick Allen, who's the firefighter and MD uh, chairman there, along with Dick Robinson. And uh, Rick, what have you guys been up to? Well, we've had a voluntary toll at the Upper Canada Mall in Newmarket for the past few years. And with the help of our chief, our fellow firefighters, and the people of Newmarket, that toll has been very successful. And what do you do at one of those tolls? Well, we set up uh, at the entrance and the exits to the mall with the trucks. 
and as the people drive it in and out they drop money into the boots so uh, it's either drop some money in the boot or you don't get out of the mall that's the story here and uh, dick uh, i think you've got a check presentation for us here we would like to present uh twelve thousand six hundred dollars twelve thousand six hundred dollars folks big hand Thank you very much, and uh, I understand there's some construction coming up next year at the mall and some changes in plans for Newmarket. Yes, because of the major expansions at the Upper Canada Mall this year, we can't have our toll there, so we're going to have an uh, elimination draw, and tickets will be on sale there starting early in October. Anybody wishing a ticket, just contact us at the Newmarket Fire Department. Great, guys. Thank you very much. And now to John. Okay, Marty, as you can see, I'm out here as normal working with a bunch of clowns, and we're having a great time down here. Is that dog house broke? No, okay. And I'm going to turn it over to quickly to the, it's the Upper Canada Lodge, if you didn't recognize them, and their Sunday best. Meyer Gordon, and you can quickly introduce the rest of the cast. Iris Poopsie at the end, Zadie, Bubby, uh, Jocko, Lolly, and Poppy. And I, my, my. And we have raised, uh, some money for you please the checks please we have raised money by raffling at our general meetings our lodge members have uh, uh, donated or given towards the uh, raffle five hundred and ten dollars and another hundred dollars given by our upper Canada lodge so they're six hundred and ten dollars hoping next year to double it great stuff now you may be dressed as clowns but this checks aren't funny this is great stuff you people are doing we really appreciate it. Come on down. This is the fun you're going to have, and this is part of the fun. Even the dog will bite you if you're really good and pay a dollar to MD. Now back to Marty and Mike. Thanks, John. And uh, we've got a special friend with us here, uh, Greg Alexander and the uh, fire dog, Brinkley. Greg, tell us a little bit about Brinkley and the programs that he's involved with. Well, Brinkley's a three-year-old fire dog. She's a North York fire dog. She works along with her sister, Ember. And uh, she's part of the education team. The firefighters go out and uh, try to educate people to install smoke alarms, test their smoke alarms, and plan what to do in case of a fire in their home. Ah, excellent. And uh, a little bit of history around the Dalmatian in the fire service. Yes, the Dalmatian was historically a fire, is historically a fire dog. They were originally used to protect the fire horses, to run beside the fire horses. And if any other dog uh, started to harass the horse, the fire dog would attack those dogs, which would allow the fire horses to get to the fire scene faster. Oh, interesting. Mike? Actually, Marty, there's a little bit more of a story behind Brinkley because Greg, earlier in the year, for the, uh, the poster we developed in the region, Brinkley's father was involved. Yes, uh, Sebastian. Sebastian's 13 years old. He's retired. He retired from active service about three years ago, but we brought him out for the, uh, for the poster. Well, you know, we're at the end of the segment, and uh, maybe we should take advantage of Brinkley's presence here. H how about it? Uh, get Brinkley to do a, a total? Brinkley, what's the total? Right. A little camera shot. John, All how right. about you? No, Marty, he's a dog. Come on, Marty. I can All do right. it. We got $646,045. We're leaving right. the place in good hands when the pros come back. Keep those phones ringing, and thank you very much for putting up with us. Back to Jerry. Wouldn't